Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So there's lots of interesting news going on in the beauty world and I got some really cool information about what's going on as well as some really cool collections that are coming soon. So this is the beauty news update. This is an older news and I'm really sorry that I did not mention this before. This was actually back from last end of last month that I didn't catch. So my apologies for not bringing this up sooner. So ABH came out with a grant that's going to help support small uh, black owned businesses. So originally with the Black Lives Matter movement that happened last year, they decided to donate a million dollars to help against fight against institu institutional racism, oppression and injustice. So after they donated that, they felt that we should be doing something more than just you know, donating that money. So they decided to create this grant and they uh, received hundreds of applications and th they, they had to, you know, go through all of them and decide which ones would work best with that money they received to help with their plan with their business. And so they chose eight winners and it was a $450,000, $100,000 grant that went to eight winners. And they wanted to do not just give that money, but they also wanted to mentor and check in quarterly meetings and basis and just to see how they're progressing and pointers and tactics because, you know, um, Anastasia is an immigrant. She came from Romania and, you know, she was able to become an esthetician and she became really well known for her work on brows. And so, you know, she created that fame and she knows that, you know, minorities can uh, make a huge difference in the world and they need that help. And so she wanted to do that. Now she already picked those winners already and they are the Mary Lewis Cosmetics, 54 Thrones Beauty, Shea Yilin, Ye Yeline Beauty, I'm sorry, uh, Paula Brown Performance Arts Center, that I'm what I'm curious about. And I'm sorry for mispronouncing this, Nasako International LLC, Heritage Socks and Apocryphy and The Nourish Spot. All of these brands sound really cool and really interesting. I definitely will want to, we'll, we'll go back and check them out and just want to see, you know, what they are known for. So that's really cool that, that like I said, the grants already come out and, you know, they've already been going on with it. So really glad for ABH to pave the way to help those small brands. So congratulations to those winners. So back in December, it was mentioned that Sephora was going to be coming to Kohl's. So the list has just come out and they said where the Sephora's are going to be. And unfortunately mine didn't make the cut, but there is a full list so far. I believe about 200 Sephora's are coming to Kohl's. And what I'll do is I will leave a link to the description in the description box of which Kohl's are going to be getting a Sephora. So I, I know several uh, in California, Michigan, Illinois, and Pennsylvania, they're gonna get a ton in there, but there are also other states that are gonna be getting too. So check it out and see for yourself if maybe a Sephora is gonna be coming close to yours. They didn't say specifically what dates that those Sephoras will be open, but that will give you an insight. I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping that more Sephora's will be coming and hopefully mine will get one too. <laughs> Cause my, the closest Sephora's, you know, about 20 so miles away and I would love to have one closer. But anyway, let me know in the comments below if a Sephora is coming to your Kohl's and let me know also if maybe you're hoping that, you know, one will come eventually to the Kohl's closest to yours. So let me know in the comments below. Okay, back in January, this is a collection that I had mentioned prior. Back in January, Max Cosmetics had introduced their Black Cherry collection. They did mention it previously that it was coming to China first and then it would be coming to other countries later on. Well, they just announced it March 4th in the US that I know of. So it's already out and it has, um, you know, the their setting spray, uh, lashes, I believe a lipstick and just a couple of other things. So, you know, it's really, really cool and interesting. Like I said, it looks like their Boom Boom Bloom collection that they came out a couple of years ago, but this is just like the darker version of it. So again, this is just my observation in my opinion. 
In the MAC Cosmetics, there are three tiers. If you are devoted or obsessed, and if you're in one of those tiers, you get early access to the collection. So definitely check that out if you haven't known or seen it already. So, you know, go out and get that if that's something that you want. And let me know if it is available in your country other than China, you know, if, if it comes to, you know, other countries as well, let me know in the comments below so I can be know, I can know where it's available. Because it's a new month, BH Cosmetics has come out with their March Birthstone palette. And it's seven shades and it's after the Birthstone Aquamarine. So it's this beautiful sea blue color. I just think it's beautiful, a really beautiful color. It's not mine, but if it is yours, you can definitely go and pick that up right now. It's super affordable. It's $9, it's really pretty. And of course you can only get it at bhcosmetics.com. So definitely go check that out. The blues are just beautiful. And I love the aquamarine color itself. It's just, it's like the sky blue, ocean blue. You know, when you go to like the Bahamas and the water's just super clear and beautiful. That's what I think of when I see that color. So <laughs> definitely, definitely go pick that up if that's something that you're interested in. And last but not least, this collection I'm super excited about. I'm definitely gonna go pick this up when it becomes available. And that is Ulta is partnering with WandaVision. I am super obsessed with this show. I unfortunately kind of go ahead and check stuff out and I have questions and I Google it and I look it up. It, it's hard not to tell my husband, but anyway. <laughs> This line is coming March 14th online and in stores. So in a couple of weeks, or I should say in about a few, you know, a, a little over a week, it's going to become available. So super, super excited about that. The prices range from about $10 to 28. They didn't specify which products are what price, but that is the price range. And the collection is to uh, have products that's gonna acknowledge the beauty trends from the past, like 50s and 60s and so on and so forth. And it's really, really cool. I love the packaging. It definitely has the Scarlet Witch emblem on a lot of the things. And it's, you know, just the red type of theme, red and gold. It's super beautiful. I love it. I'm super excited. But the collection will have a brush set so five brushes and a pouch, and it's gonna include a lip balm set, which is a jelly gloss and a lip balm. It's gonna have a wing tip liner kit. So the liner and a wing stamp, which will have, you can do for your left and your right eye. So I'm really curious about that. It's gonna have a blush palette, so four different tones of blushes. They are going to have lip glosses, or at least a lip gloss. I'm not sure if there'll be more than one. So far, they've only shown one. We'll have to see. They are going to have a brow kit and that's gonna have four items within it. And it's gonna have a dual brow pencil. It's gonna have a spoolie and brush tool and it's gonna have a highlighter brow pencil. So a very light tone brow pencil that you can kind of put underneath your brow or over it. And it's gonna also include a brow gel. So there's that really cool kit that's gonna come out. And then three mini eyeshadow palettes. I have not seen what those colors are, but I'm guessing it may have to do with some of the decades. That's a guess. I'm assuming that it will include, so we'll definitely have to keep our eyes out for that. Super, super excited, March 14th. If you're a fan of the show, definitely pick this up. Hey, just a really quick update. This is something that I just learned about just a few minutes ago, and that is that e.l.f and Chipotle are working together to make a line. <laughs> it's gonna come out on March 9th for early access members. So if you are, if you do have an account with elfcosmetics.com on their site, you get early access March 9th. Otherwise, everyone else gets it on March 10th. So they're coming out with four items, an eyeshadow palette for 16, make it hot lip gloss for $8, just one, an extra guac face sponge set for 10. It literally looks like an avocado, which is kind of cute. And a makeup bag for 18. And it looks like the actual bag that you get from Chipotle when you get your food in. So that's really cool. If you want the whole set, it's for $52.
So keep an eye out for that. And that's it for this beauty news. I'm super, super excited for some of these things, especially that WandaVision collection. I will be running to my nearest Ulta to pick that up. <laughs> But anyway, I hope this video gave you a little more insight about what's going on. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of when I upload new videos. And let me know about the Coles if you're getting one close by, uh, a, a Sephora close to your home. So um, I hope you have a great day, a great week, great weekend. Please be safe. I love you. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.